はい、みなさんどうも、カイリです。Hi guys, this is カイリ。Thank you so much for joining me. I'd like to start off by letting you know this is a rant video, and if you're not a fan of rant videos, you know where to go. So, let's get into it. So I want to start off by saying I have been watching Tamias for a long time since Archery Gear.、Um, now, honestly, I don't care for people who don't show their faces. I find them hard to trust. And later on, he came with an anime avatar as a Japanese person. I find that a little cringy.、Um, but、uh, he has earned my trust and support、uh, with the information they provide. The other gentleman in question. Uh, I have seen his videos and he provides a lot of energy and kookiness, but、um, in terms of information, it's this much. Myers initially talks about the content creator program where they gain access to an early access server, and of course, they sign NDAs, which are non disclosure agreements. The hostility came when he was posting certain information where other content creators were not allowed to post. Hey everyone, Tomias here, and welcome to another Sword of Convalaria video. So, if you guys have noted in my previous video about who is coming up next, we said now it's going to be a Kambe into Sophia, and that video raised a lot of controversies. Okay, I'll explain why in this video. And、uh, you know what? I'm actually a bit sad that I have to even make a video like this, and I wasn't planning to, but this guy called、uh, Purple. Platypus made not one but two videos about the content creator programs and the leaks in general. So I feel like I need to get my side of the story out, and that will be that because there's just so much misinformation and、uh, people are just speculating without knowing what's going on. Okay. Now, Tamias was very sympathetic to this man's plight. The gentleman made one video, and Tamias himself says, You know what? He has a point. He let it go and understood how it felt because it's happened to him with Honkai Star Rail and other games, so he could relate. Content creators, they have, of course, early access to the media servers, right? And everyone has to sign an NDA and has an agreement with the developers. Now, the issue comes that、uh, people were saying that, you know what, how come you are revealing information that、uh, other players could not reveal? Right, because for example, I said Akambe is most likely coming out next, and now Sophia is most likely coming out next, and even showcasing their skills with footage from the CN server. And that was the thought process because,、um, yeah, content creator like Purple Plat was not happy that I was getting an advantage in that regard. Now, first of all,、um, without even knowing what has been agreed between me and the developers, you know, a couple of content creators, and I, I understand, okay, like. It's just like when we played other games. I've been there before, you know,、uh, Honkai Star Rail,、uh, Wooden Waves. People have early access to information that could be released before even the other content creators, even if they have media access. I was in that position. And later,、um, because of my working relationship with Hoyoverse and、uh, all that stuff, we of course have earlier media access to bring you guys earlier showcase of the characters.、Okay. Now, you may be asking, why don't I take what he says with a grain of salt? And the fact of the matter is, I would like to think myself as a person with a good, good grasp of their mental faculties. If he were in violation of this NDA, then I assume they would either stop supporting him or they would ask him to take the videos down, delete the videos, you know. Maybe even his YouTube channel could be in jeopardy. So, using some common sense, Since the videos are up and he's making this video to combat the controversy and gossip going about, I can only surmise that what he's saying has some level of truth to it. Based on, oh my goodness, look at this guy. He's revealing information I cannot reveal, so he must be breaking the NDA that I have signed. Well, unfortunately, that is not the case because you know, you don't know the agreement I've had with the developers, okay? And I've been doing this for a very long time. So, if I'm wrong, of course, I sign an NDA, I'll be removed from the content creator program and I will have legal issues. It, we're not new in this space, okay? Tomias brings out a really good point here, and I actually never knew this, but apparently, content creators were rewarded by give, being given 
in-game currency which they could use to spend on the live server that real you know that little nugget of information blew my mind i did not know that and yet absolutely it would seem unfair but the gentleman in question at the time didn't question that as being unfair so i don't understand why this is unfair to him strange huh when it actually affects him negatively he has something to say but what's surprising is that of course he posted my thoughts on the leaks and how it's unfair to the other CCs. Um, and I just find it hilarious because remember the previous drama where, you know, content creators, of course, got paid in the in-game currency, right? And the people were saying, wow, look at this. They're getting paid in-game currency. It's not fair to the other players because this is on the live server. I mean, no one's bad an eye here, right? He didn't say, oh my God, it's so unfair to the players. Nope. That's fine because you know what? He as a platinum level content creator also got gems. So yeah, but as soon as this affected him because he cannot release early information on character schedules, oh, better make a video. And I find it hilarious that he said, I don't want to make drama to Fan of Flames, but here we go. One video, two video, probably more now that I've made a response. Okay, so yeah. And you're not batting for the players at all in this regard. And uh, right after the thought on leaks, Look at this new event details. That is an early access media content that in this new video, the early access content creator nerfed video, and they've made new rules that you cannot reveal information, whether it be characters or events. Okay, so of course, this is against the rules now, right? Of course, the rules was applied after, but I'm just saying, okay, you can't play innocent <laughs> right after you release an elite event video. Okay, so anyhow. I think the problem for him was that he was up against a content creator from the eastern side of the world who could actually communicate in English. And because of this, he's actually getting some pushback and he's being challenged. And in the same vein, I do think it's good because a lot of content creators on the eastern side of the world just don't get enough credit. And what happens is a lot of the stuff that they do gets ripped off by people from the western side, so to speak. Now, if he has a problem with it, he has no one to blame but himself. Is this? He looks like a grown man, so he could choose to live wherever he wants. Um, he chose to live where he is and speak the language that he does, so he limits itself. He limits himself when it comes to this particular game. He's at a disadvantage. He may be a nice guy, I don't know, but as a content creator, he's given me lousy information. I watched, and I believe he's a Singaporean young man by the name of Zibo Sfai, who actually talks about his, I think his Taiwanese or his Chinese version of the game, I can't remember. And then he translates it along with you, along with the audience and discusses it. You know, he pulls the information up, <coughs> excuse me, and you can see it on, I think it's Billy B or some other things like that. Um, and I have to tip my hat off to the gentleman. You know, he doesn't have a lot of subscribers, but honestly, he's doing an amazing job. Even people like Balkin Gacha, who appears like a genuinely nice guy. From what I see, he even plays some of the Taiwanese and Chinese versions of games. But you know what? He'll be damned if he can translate what he's doing. This happens a lot more often than you might think. Let's look, for example, one of the games I played, Seven Nights 2. Um, it has a Korean version and it has a Korean server and a global server and things get released in the Korean server months ahead of the global server. That gives global players an advantage because they can plan their resources. Korean players have to, you know, there's at least one person, if not a group of people, they have to invest a lot and then try things out and test things out. Consequently, people in the global server don't have to go through that process. I remember one of the Final Fantasy games, the Japanese version was always first and the global side would come out later, maybe about half a year, six months. Um, so that the, you know, and the global players just planned ahead. Um, I can't remember what it was, it was Final Fantasy Brave Exvius or Opera Omnia, one of those. And it happens a lot more than you might think. Even when I did my video on ZMM, and him doing his kind of exploit for Honkai Star Rail, it was actually devised. Excuse me. It wasn't actually devised by him. He got it from someone called Knackfrog, and Knackfrog wasn't even the person who devised it. He got it originally from a Chinese person. 
Before Isekai Memories came out, myself and a group of friends, we consolidated and collated a lot of information from the beta server and translated it into an Excel spreadsheet. Um, a lot of people on the western side of the world phrased, worded, and the verbiage they used was in such a way as to insinuate <clears throat> that they had some contribution to said document, which was not the case. I spoke to one of my programmer friends who couldn't speak English and he was explaining to me that it's been like this for ages and no one really stands up. Even if we go back to Tamias, he said that the first video the gentleman posted, he understands so he let it slide. Without knowing what NDA has been signed, especially my version of the NDA, because you know, you don't know if I've talked to the devs directly, like most cases, you can't say that I'm not allowed to share. Okay, and I'm of course still a content creator and I'm still gonna bring you guys informa <coughs> information regarding the characters. But whether or not I'll be doing these super, super early quote unquote educated guest videos is another topic to debate about because you know what? I, I mean, I cover a lot of games, okay? And I try to foster a positive community, okay? And if this turns into something that makes the players upset, makes the other content creators upset, because it's an ecosystem and everyone should be, you know, providing positive feedback within the ecosystem. You know, content creators feel valued and they want to cover the game and the players are happy to see their favorite content creators cover in the game. And then, you know, everyone builds a positive community. I think that is the best way to go for a gacha game. So um, I will most likely still do my shoot you pull video, guys. And they can still come earlier than the official announcement. We'll have to see. Um, but maybe not so early as to two weeks. Because other people cannot publish that information. And it just leads to people being upset. Okay. But the fact of the matter is we shouldn't let it slide. And we should give people the credit that they're owed. And the credit that is due. If you are a content creator, Chinese, Korean, Japanese, Taiwanese, by all means... If you can't get your argument or complaint or point across, I implore you, please find someone who can help you get that point across. It really has to stop now. Tamaya said a lot about the community and keeping it in Japanese, we say wa, which means harmony. Um, so he wants to keep the harmony of the community, but he also needs to understand that there's that separation. Like I said, it's the Korean server versus the Japanese server versus the global. And you know, sometimes individuals from one server capitalize on the efforts of another. So there's some food for thought. So anyhow, that is my take on this. But please, if you don't have all the information, why speculate? I just don't understand. What is the point of speculating on something that you do not have information to? And it will not be disclosed because it's a... NDA, you have signed one too. It's non disclosure. It's literally in the name. People will have different, different contents, right? So, anyhow, I hope that is the end to this. Tamias has truly been a good sport about all of this. Um, you can see the full video in the links below. I'd like to thank Tamias uh, for his video. If it weren't for his video, I couldn't make mine and explain myself uh, to you fine folks. Uh, thank you everyone for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Questions, comments, concerns, even criticisms. Exercise your freedoms to write what you want down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Jamina soro soro. Annyeong. Bye bye. See you. Oyasumi. Good night. Peace.